Hi everybody, Alex here. Today I'm going to tell you about my scar revision in my plastic surgery that I had about 95 days ago. Now I've made two videos before this one. I made one video on the day of the surgery, about two hours after the surgery. And I made another video about six days after that as a follow-up. And then I haven't done anything until now and we're at about a little over three months out. It's June 5th now and that was March 2nd when I had it. So what had happened, I had a scar on my face where um, I had a clogged pore. That clogged pore got bigger, it never went away. It turned into a cyst, that got bigger. Um, I turned and hit a tree branch one day and it, it ripped it and by picking it and all kinds of things, it just, it left a hole in my face. It, it did not heal back, it was too deep and it lost pigment, so it was very white. So one night I was at a restaurant in a bar and I was talking to this woman, we were hitting it off and she just looked at my face and she goes, what happened to your face? And I remember thinking, you know, I have never had a woman ask me that in my life, <laughs> you know? Is it that unusual? And so unusual that you can't figure out what happened and it just, it's that distracting and ugly. I should get it fixed, you know? So it took me a while. I wasn't that worried about it for some reason. My mother, every time I'd see my mother, she's like, oh, my poor baby, what did you do to your face? You need to go get that pinched together and sewn up. I'm like, no, 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 it's okay. I don't know why it didn't bother me. So finally, I thought this year, this was in uh, this year, 2020, in January, I was thinking I should save up some cash and go see, you know, get a quote and see what it's going to cost to get that revised. So there's a plastic surgeon down just a few blocks from where I live here by NASA Johnson Space Center in Clear Lake City, Webster area. And so I went over there and he quoted me. I'll tell you what it cost. It was $750, which I thought was great. And so I said, okay, so I made the appointment. That was in the first week of February. I made the appointment for March. I went back. At first, the doctor said he was going to do like a laser machine on my face, kind of like what you see for tattoo removal. And I thought, well, that won't be so bad. It won't be that painful. Uh, it won't be that invasive. And it'll probably just scar over and scab over, and I'll just keep it bandaged. And then, but I thought, I wonder what that's going to do to my pigment color, you know? But on the day of the surgery, when I showed up, what he actually did was. Um, I went to the patient room and he put me, he put a marker on my face and he drew line, you know, the, the circle was about this big around and he went from the top about a half an inch above and a half an inch below and he drew like an elliptical diamond curve, kind of like the shape of your eye around it. And then we went into the operating room and he said, lay down on the bed. So I'm laying down on the bed in the middle of the operating room, just like the dentist chair. And he stuck the syringe in my face. And it was just like when you go to the dentist and they stick the noodle in with the Novocaine in your, this was lidocaine, and they just stick it directly in your face. And he went all around it and numbed it up. And then uh, proceeded to get a scalpel and just cut it. So what he did was he cut around it and he excised the whole crater out and then he sewed the skin together from around it. And that was it. And I got stitches and then they, they covered it with uh, bacitracin, which is like the uh, antibiotic ointment that goes on it. And that was it. I remember when I got in my car, when I first got out, I started my truck and I looked in the rear view mirror and went, oh my God. It was so big, my face was all puffy from the lidocaine and this giant scar. It was so exaggerated, it was like three times as big as it should have been. And it was all swollen and had black threads sticking out of it. And I thought, what have I done? What if this looks worse? You know, for you have that moment of doubt. But then, uh, and that's when I came home and I made the first video of, this, of these three videos. Uh, but now, can you see it? Can you tell which cheek it is? All right, it's right here. Uh, you might be able to see it. 
it's really uh, pretty good. I can still see it. It's not completely gone, but look, we're only three months out. And uh, I'll show you the line. It's right. It goes right here. If I pull it, see that? But it disappears. The, the best thing you can do for it is keep the sun off of it, which hasn't been that hard with this lockdown because of this new bug going around. Um, I have stayed out of the sun pretty easy. Even when I do go outside or if I go run any errands, I put a big floppy gardening hat on. I pull it really down low <laughs> over my head. And I don't let any sun touch it. Because if you let sun touch a scar, that scar will turn red because it doesn't have any melanin to tan, you know. So it'll just turn red. And they've told me, keep the sun off of it, keep the sun off of it, keep the sun. And I think it's done pretty good. I can still see it. But other people, like people I work with, they've already forgotten I had it done. I, I mentioned it to somebody the other day, and they were like, oh, yeah, I don't even, I haven't even seen that. I haven't even noticed it. You know, they can't see it anymore. So it's already good enough for other people, and I'm the only one that sees it now, really. I think if somebody got really close, they're going to see it. But I'm really happy with it, and I'm glad I got it done because... Uh, it's not as distracting, and, I, and I've and i noticed already when people talk to me, they're not staring at my scar. So I would recommend if you have any scar on your face or you, you had an accident, let's say you hit something and you've got some scar or some cut or anything like that, if you don't like the way it looks, look into get it, getting it revised. You might not get it to go away completely, or you may have a different looking scar after the revision, but you might have a better looking scar than the scar you've got. But look into getting it revised, get it better, you know. Um, so anyway, that's my follow up. So this is the three month after plastic surgery on the face, you know. So that was direct scalpel in the face. And you really, if I didn't tell you, now if I'm a YouTuber, so if I'm sitting here on camera and I have this new AngelTube webcam, we're looking at 1080p, 30 frames per second. And if I didn't point that out and I'm just talking and I'm doing a presentation or something, you can't see it. So it's already good enough. I, I enjoy the benefits of having that scar revision. Yay! <laughs> so uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Somebody mentioned in my comments yesterday, they're like, hey, what's going on with that scar? Can you do another video on it? Uh, do an update on the scar revision. So this is for you, King King. All right. Thanks for coming. Wait till I post my next video. See you later. Bye.